Can we build some really good trading systems using only what day of the month it is to trade? I bet we can, let's give it a try. Hi everyone, it's Dave Wickham from Peak Trading Research and my goal is to make you a happier, more confident, more profitable trader with commodity market insights and real systematic trading strategies. Today we're going to be building a real systematic trading strategy that has only one input to trade and that is the day of the month. This will allow us to answer the question, are there any markets, specifically commodity markets, that rally or sell off depending on what time the month it is. So let's start by writing a simple strategy script that allows us to analyze if trading a certain day of the month could be a profitable trading approach. To write our system code and do some strategy analysis and look at profit statistics, we are going to use the TradeStation trading platform. Now this is what TradeStation looks like right out of the box the first time you ever open it. So if you're a new user, this is what you'll see the first time that you open TradeStation. We are going to go up to the strategy easy language development environment. We are going to start a new strategy. And let's just name our strategy day of month. We are going to write a very simple strategy script that says if day of month crosses over 15, then buy next bar at market. And if bars since entry is greater than or equal to 10, then sell next bar at market. So what this strategy script is saying is simply if it's the 15th, go long. And if 10 days have passed, exit that long position. A very simple script to test that if we go long on the 15th of the month and hold that position effectively through the end of the month, if that will be a profitable strategy. And there we go. We have now written a complete systematic trading strategy. It has an entry and it has an exit. And because this is now a complete systematic trading strategy, we can add the strategy to a chart and see how that strategy would work. So let's go to crude oil. Let's go to daily bars. Let's go back 10 years. There's our crude oil chart. We can add our strategy day of month. There we go. You can see how this strategy would work on a chart. Getting in in the middle of the month, exiting after 10 bars, getting in in the middle of the month, exiting after 10 bars, getting in in the middle of the month, exiting after 10 bars. Very simple trading system. Now, the question always is, has this strategy made money? Would this approach of buying crude oil in the middle of the month and holding it until the end of the month, would that be a profitable trading approach? And the answer is a definitive no. This strategy has lost money over the past 10 years. Now, this simple systematic trading strategy does not work for crude oil, but luckily we can add some inputs to the strategy that allows us to test different combinations of the day of the month to enter the trade and also how long to stay in the trade. And we can test that script across a lot of different markets beyond crude oil. Let's jump back into our strategy script and we are going to add two inputs to our strategy. We are going to have an input that is called day of month X and we're going to add another input called bar X. So we're going to replace this static value of 15 with day of month X, and we're gonna replace this static value of 10 with bar X. These are now two inputs that we can test. And just to go back to crude oil and show what this testing might look like for the crude oil market, we now have two inputs we can test. We can optimize the day of the month from one to 31, and we can optimize the bars that we want to stay in the trade from one to 21, so three weeks. Let's give that a try, 651 optimization runs. And there we go. We now have a much better equity curve, a much better cumulative profit line. Whatever combination this is, is made a little over $60,000 per contract of crude oil traded over the past 10 years. If we go to a strategy optimization report and sort by net profit, there it is. Day of the month, 21, so the 21st day of the month, and only staying in the trade 
for four sessions. And because this is a systematic trading strategy, we can look at how this trades on a chart. Looks like this approach has actually been working pretty well recently. Caught a nice uptrend here, 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 here. In fact, this system has been doing really well. You've got that nice upward sloping equity curve for the past few months. So that's great. We've built a simple trading system. We've added some inputs that we can optimize. We've optimized that trading system for the crude oil market, and we've come up with a decent equity curve, right? A very choppy equity curve, but this is far from a trading system that we would actually consider trading. But what if we repeat this process? What if we run this optimization across every liquid US futures market to see if there are some markets where there's a real edge in trading the time of the month? There we go. These are the results of running that optimization across every major liquid US futures market, both from the long side, so buying at a certain time of the month and holding that position, or from the short side, so selling short on a specific day of the month and holding that position. Now, what you'll notice, you start out here with a lot of equity markets. Equities, it makes sense, they're uptrending, so more often than not, it's going to make sense to buy during a certain time of the month, for example, for the NASDAQ, buying on the 11th and holding that position for 18 days. Whereas on the short side, we see a lot more commodities and currencies. Now, starting from the bottom on the long side, if we look at the markets where going long at a certain time of the month performs well, we have gasoline going long on the sixth day of the month. The equity curve looks like this. We have silver going long on the 29th of the month. The equity curve looks like this. And soybean meal going long on the 9th of the month, holding it 21 sessions. Equity curve looks like this. And if we repeat that same process and look at the markets where it makes sense to sell short based on the day of the month, we have nat gas going short on the 16th. The equity curve looks like this. That equity curve has really popped as it's made sense to be short nat gas as prices has collapsed here in early 2023. Live cattle going short on the 30th and holding that position for 15 sessions. The equity curve looks like this. And feeder cattle, same thing, going short on the 30th, being short for 15 sessions. That equity curve looks like this. Now, are these really great trading systems? Not really. Feeder cattle's pretty close. Feeder cattle has the best profit factor. If you look at a chart, we can see that this strategy of selling at the very end of the month and holding that short for a few weeks has worked pretty well. Recently, we see that nice upward sloping equity curve. But overall, my sense is that for most of these markets, you're probably going to find better trading systems than just following a simple day of the month trading approach. Now, before we give up hope on this approach, we have tested these systems from the long side and the short side. But are there some markets where it makes sense to go long at a certain time of the month and short at a certain time of the month that maybe we haven't looked at yet? The good news is, yes, there are some markets where that approach of going long and short can work really well. That's what we'll be talking about in our next video that you can click here on day of the month trading. And we're going to be building a trading system for a market that gives us this absolute beast of an equity curve. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the like button below, hit the subscribe button, join our 11,000 YouTube subscribers. Good luck using the code that we walked through today to build some really good systematic strategies based on this day of month trading idea. And we'll see you soon. Thank you